hope you're all having a great morning, evening, or afternoon, whenever you may be watching this video. If you caught the last video, you probably would have seen that I just recently installed a new tune from Boosted Performance. In that last video, I actually showed you guys how to use the mobile EcuTech app to actually download and install a tune onto your vehicle, as well as talked a little bit about some of the features. I'm actually gonna dive in more about all that stuff in that last video, as well as talk about all the features that I didn't get to. So with that being said, let's go ahead, get the car, pull it out onto the driveway, that way we can get it started up and let it warm up for a little bit and then we'll go head out to a road where I can show you guys all the sick features of this tune. thing I'm going to show off to you guys is how to actually use the launch control on this tune. Setting up and using launch control is pretty simple and you can actually do it a couple of different ways. We'll go ahead and just wait for the ignition to turn on. We'll go ahead and press my car and wait for it to connect. Once everything's fully paired up, as you guys can see, we can go over to launch control right here and it will show up with the automatically set at 4,500 RPMs. From there, we can actually use this scroll right here to choose the different RPM range that we want to set the car at when we're launching it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do first before I actually launch the car is I'll get the uh, camera set up behind me and I'll choose different RPM ranges. Like I'll go ahead and do it from like 4,000, 6,000 or whatnot. And just that way you guys can hear what the car actually sounds like. And then from there, we'll I'll probably launch it around 4,000-ish RPMs and I'll show you guys what that looks like. here if I hold down the cruise control I can actually switch it up into map 2 which is my 93 plus burble tune once it sits there it will actually automatically switch into the burble tune for me and from there I will just press the clutch in and just whenever I let off the uh, gas when it's on deceleration if I just blip the gas a little bit it will actually cause it to pop and backfire a bunch so I'll go ahead and just get some clips for you guys that way you guys can see how that looks and sounds
So next, what I'm gonna show you guys how to use is the auto blip rev match feature that comes on this tune. Essentially, what it is, is when you're trying to downshift into a lower gear, you would clutch in and use the brake. And when you're above 3000 RPMs, it actually will blip the gas automatically up for you. So when you downshift into that lower gear, you don't have to worry about using the gas as well. So I'll show you guys a couple quick clips as to what that sounds and looks like. So we made it back home now, as you guys can see. And there's actually still a few couple things that I didn't get a chance to mention in this video, which is the no lift shifting that comes on this tune, as well as the way to turn down the cold starts on the car. I actually showed you guys a little bit about the uh, cold start feature and how that kind of works in the last video. And it's probably one of my most favorite features about this tune, just because it helps me out so much in the mornings. I can't lie, I was a little scared to try the no lift shifting in this video, but if that's something that you guys would like to see me maybe try out on the car, let me know down in the comments below. Hello. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. That way you guys can stay up to date on all the content that I make just like this. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.